all up. Love swimming uh, raw sewage. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was swimming in raw sewage. I love it. Mmm. Oh. Mm. Look at my this sip. Oh, it's so sour. Whoa. I don't know where I'm going. Me neither. <laughs> we haven't played this game in almost a year. Oh. <laughs> I just would have fallen into space. Sorry, I got a mouthful of gummy. Mm. I'm just going to go in my tummy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sour patch. Mm -hmm. The only kids you can actually eat legally. Mm. It's like harder to chew because you put them in the freezer. Mm hmm. Mm. It was a mistake. You think so? Mm-hmm. I think I might agree with you. Those are good. What kind of flavor is that? Extreme. Extreme? Extreme? Oh. Mm. Hold up. i got to get a different weapon. Yeah, drill hound. Do it. There's so much green apple in here. There's like zero cherry. I think there's a lot of orange and some watermelon. Do you think they do that on purpose? I feel like it. That's bullshit. At least it gave us one good flavor. Yeah, the apple? Mm-hmm. Oh, what crap. <laughs> <laughs> so, Billy. Yeah, how you been, my dude? Busy. What's, what's, what, what happened to your, with your car? We had to go pick it up again today. Mm-hmm. What did you do to it? Mm. Remember when I told you that Ann had backed up into my car? No. It was like a little little after the snow had thawed last year. Okay. <clears throat> Anne wasn't paying attention. And I had parked behind her. And out of spite, she just ran right into you? Yeah, basically. <laughs> so, yeah, her, uh, her little tail hitch thingy went right in oh, like to the, the front of my car. Like the tow hitch thing? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. And um, it seemed like everything was fine. There was no problems or anything. And then once it got cold again, there was a crack in my radiator. Oh, so, gotcha. So I was leaking coolant. And then... <clears throat> Excuse me, sir. You seem to be leaking coolant at an alarming rate. Well, so, yeah. You know, I think it's solving itself. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> it sounds ceiling. <laughs> yeah, um, so <laughs> at first it was not leaking at an alarming rate. So I'm like, okay, whatever, I'll get this done soon. And then it became an alarming rate. Like, yeah, yeah. I lost all of my coolant one time when I was driving. Oh. It was like, <laughs> your yo, Your car bitch. is about to be on fire. Yeah, your car is hot. <laughs> Running real fucking hot. Oh, why wouldn't it give me this prompt earlier? What the fuck? Okay, there we go. Oh, the crystal. Mm. Thanks, Rivet. As if that wasn't fucking evident enough, but for some reason the game wouldn't give me them. Goddamn prompt! Fuck! Right, anyway, continue. So, yeah. I mean, I had to take my car in for some maintenance twants also. Um, we had that, that um, extremely... Uh, cold spell we had for mm -hmm. a week or so and my car I mean nothing like horrible but like it just was having a hard time uh, starting up like because of how cold it got yeah so I decided to take it into the shop and be like hey is there something up with my battery or something and they and said like, oh my god <laughs> how did you even fucking get here <laughs> yeah and they're like, that battery exploded three years ago <laughs> oh they said the battery is only holding half of the charge and then I also wanted them to check my tires because, you know, as you recall, last time you visited, they were going low constantly. Yeah. So, so then they were like, oh, my, oh my God. God. <laughs> How did you get here? Oh, my God. <laughs> this tire exploded you like three years three ago. rim leaks and a nail in one of them. How did you even make it here? There's a small child nailed to this car. You mean so to tell me you only live a mile away? How did you get here? That's so far. Why is this dude, like, all of a sudden thinking, like, it's, like, fucking 1890 or something? 
It's like, yeah, dude, like, it, I can drive with a nail on my tire, like, it's cool, like, you know, but thank you for fixing it. It's like, I, no, no I, I don't know what I'm doing, really. I just hit him with that hammer until it fixed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not taking this car back here. <laughs> Pussy for mm. So, yeah. Because of that really cold smell, though, it, it had... Um, fucked your radiator up. Not just the radiator. Um, some of the <laughs> lines... <coughs> oh yeah, uh, the the rubber had cracked. Uh, so, because I was only leaking a little bit, and then it got really cold, and then it cracked, and then I was leaking a lot. They tried to sell me on that too. Like I have, like I guess, like a like, like so there's like some kind of like um, I don't know how do they put it, like some caps or something on like the exhaust pipe or something. And they were getting brittle and on the verge of breaking. They're like, we could fix it. Like we would just let, weld the pipe between the two. And they're like, it'd be $600, and I'm like, no. Nah. I'll wait to, to see if that even actually fucking breaks. Mm-hmm. I'll worry about it then. And even then, at that point, my car would just get louder. <laughs> and it's not like it's the end of the world. No. So, whatever. So, yeah. That was basically the only problem. Some, uh... Bitches. Some lines... We're degraded and need replacing. New radiator. Thanks, Ann. And then I had them uh, Did you make tune Ann it for, up. Did you make Ann pay for it? No. You're like, well, you're paying for part of it. I wouldn't have to be doing this if it weren't for you. She pays me in other ways. I know. I'm just joking. <laughs> With my fists. <laughs> it's the it's the only way I've been trying to learn boxing, so I just use her as the punching bag. Oh, really? Yeah, does she's she, fine with does it. She opt in for this. Mm -hmm. yep. She's like, all right, honey, do it. Yeah, she's like, I want you to do this. So I get on the boxing gloves and I just I just go for it. She's like Glass Joe. Yeah. Does she speak French to you while you're punching her? Well, after I hit her enough in the head, it sounds like French. <laughs> Just a, just a little thing right there. Joke. I don't hit my wife. Mm. But I hit my wife. <laughs> <laughs> With my penis. Mm -hmm. Consensually. Right across the face. Consensually. You know what they call that? Mushroom slap. Mushroom slap. You know what the elephant version of that's called? Nope. The Lombardi slap. I watched a video where Steve-O had, had done that once. Mm. The old Lombardi slap. He would. Mm -hmm. He would. And he did. It's so Steve-O. Hmm. Oh, wind. Okay, I gotta get the weight thing. He's got a podcast now. You know that? No. I don't care about Steve-O. I mean, I don't really care either, but he's cool. He interviewed... Um, David Blaine. Recently, he interviewed Maynard James Keenan of Tool fame. Mm. And Josh Peck. I think anyone asked the guy from Tool what's his favorite tool. Oh, I'm sure somebody's asked him that before, you yeah. know. I just saw, I saw, uh, um, <clears throat> a post yesterday, um, Maynard James Keenan of Tool is putting out, like, a live album celebrating, I think, like, his 50th birthday or some shit, and it's, like, him doing a bunch of, uh, music with, uh, other people, mm -hmm. I guess, like, or, like, a live concert or something. And the album cover is just him dressed up as a baby crying in a fucking, like, giant crib. <laughs> it's like, that's like the most Maynard James Keenan album cover I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> uh, I love how much he takes the piss out of everything. He's, he's great in that respect. <laughs> it's fuck oh. it, you know? Fuck it. 
Shut up. Just let me play the game. Speaking of games, did you see that the Lions lost last week? No. But everyone was sure to tell me. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so what do I do to get this? Yeah, people are like, oh my god, the Lions lost. I'm like, you expected any different? Well, considering it was um, for their ticket into the Super Bowl, um, a lot of people were, had a lot of high hopes for that game. My uh, you know, Melissa actually wanted to watch it, <laughs> which is funny. She ain't even American. So we watched it, and it boiled down to one play that the Lions fucked up on, and that cost them the game. Hmm. And as soon as they did the play, I'm like, that's how you lose a game right there. <laughs> and they did. Do they bump? No, they... Uh, it was like fourth and two, and they were right on like the goal line, give or take. And the coach decides to go for it, to like try and make a you know a touchdown. And they were already down by like ten points. Yeah. When in reality, what he should have done is he should have just gotten a fucking field goal and gotten some points on the board instead of getting nothing, which is what they ended up getting. And they, you know what? You know how much they lost by. Three points, which is a field goal. <laughs> so you could so have, it would have been a tie. Yeah, you could have at least tied up the game, and like you had a, go into had a chance. Yeah, had a chance of at least winning, but then they just fucking blew it. That one play cost them the fucking game. I mean, they could have still lost even after that, but at least they would have had a chance at winning mm-hmm. instead of going into the last quarter with only uh, <clears throat> you know down three or down three points or whatever. But whatever. I'm not a fucking football expert. I don't, I don't give a shit. Me neither. But good for them for getting that far, I guess. Yeah. Maybe next year. Maybe next year. <laughs> That's what I said. So many people have, like, that are strangers to me. You like, watch some Lions? <clears throat> yeah. They're like, oh my god, did you see the Lions? I'm like, nope. Yeah, I heard that we lost. Yeah, fucking Dan Campbell. He's in bed with Russia, dude. Say what? (laughs) Okay, why do they care about... (coughs) Oh, I don't know. I'm just assuming that all of them are fucking, like, you know, unga bungas. (laughs) Yeah. Jesus Christ! (laughs) Fell down. (laughs) Okay. So, okay, so they're running straight. I need to get them blown over by that thing. Gotta blow that thing, you know? Alright, how the fuck? Well, maybe I make them, maybe I make them do, instead of heavy, we do the speed one. Do speed. Nope. That ain't it. Ninja diving. <laughs> Alright. Lift? Do we lift them? I guess just try any old other thing. Oh, oh my god, I'm gonna... Oh, I'm gonna fucking... Okay, yeah, then we do the heavy, and then we do the speed. She's so... <laughs> Why? <laughs> I thought you were doing Elite Street Boys. <laughs> no. I was doing the Beatles. <laughs> She's so... Why? feels like it's been so long since I've sang a song. I don't get to listen to music much anymore because I don't drive anywhere. <clears throat> I know that feeling. When I was using the uh, mother-in-law's car, I can't listen to music because mine's Bluetooth. I don't have a cord or anything to plug oh. into it. Okay. <clears throat> so I end up just taking my phone and I drive like this. You just put it in your lap. Yeah, I put it on my chest, mm-hmm. and then I drive, and it shoots it into my face. <laughs> shoots a load all over your face. <laughs> yeah, it shoots hot, steaming music load all over my face. The YouTube algorithm has been recommending me these videos of this guy who does these like really short videos where he, uh, the title is always like making a freestyle rap about this topic until I say something gay. 
<laughs> and the first, like, his most popular one is he's rapping about the Cars movie. <laughs> It's just so funny. It's like a 12 second clip and he just starts to freestyle rap and he just says <laughs> Are you a highway cuz I want to ride you all night long and then he's just Fuck and then his cuts like a hard cut <laughs> He's got a bunch of videos like that <laughs> Yeah, that's the kind of freestyle rap I want to listen to <laughs> Freestyle rap until I say something gay. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty short. It's pretty fu it's pretty funny. It's like, just one of those like random like five million view videos that just comes up in your algorithm, like your your like recommended or whatever. Oops, I didn't even see that. Too busy thinking about <laughs> rapping. <laughs> yeah, it's really funny. I like that type of shit that you just like get randomly recommended, like just these stupid ass videos, and it's like you know. I got uh, recommended this one guy. Oh, oh, fucking, what's his name? Tom Selleck or something? Tom Selleck. He's making YouTube videos now? Yeah, he's making <laughs> YouTube videos. How, how come I don't have, like, a... Oh, I do have a mask on, okay. You still need to have, like, a full helmet, like... You can't not have, like, a full helmet in this, right? I mean... If you're out in space, you need a full helmet, like... Well, who's to say you're, you're, that this is <clears throat> not... Uh, an oxygen-bearing planet. That's that's one thing I always found interesting in these games that I, I think is kind of um, something that could have been like kind of uh, an interesting mechanic if they felt they they wanted to do something <coughs> like this. Is that like yeah we are in a space game like you're like a space-faring like you know world. It would be kind of neat to have it to where like certain planets do have different gravities and stuff. Mm -hmm. But they make them look pretty much the same every time. Which is, I'm not complaining, it's not a big deal, but something that they could have done to maybe make some planets different than others. Like, yeah, what if you had, like, these, like, really far apart grind rails and you're jumping, like, really far? Okay, here. His name is <laughs> Tom Cardi. Oh, he's great. I like. I love that dude. Yeah, I've been watching. I've been listening to his stuff. He's pretty good. Yeah. I like him. The first Didn't he one play? He went. I think he played with the NSP for a little bit, or he toured with them, or something. I think. So. <gasps> yeah, he did some shows with them, or something like that. Yeah. <gasps> yeah, he's pretty funny. I like him. I didn't hear about him until recently because of his uh, <clears throat> his little, you know, TikTok, YouTube short thingies. Yeah. I've, I can't remember the one that he. Uh, what's that one song that he does? I can't remember what it's about, but... There's mixed messages. Oh, have you checked your butthole? Mm. That one. Yeah, that's a good That's a good song. I like that song. That's the first one I listened to. Yeah, that's a good one. That's probably his most popular one. Skid up, butt up, butthole. Yeah. Have you checked your butthole? Yeah, that's a good song. Yeah, he's funny. He's a, he's a, he's a actually like a funny... Uh, like music and, and, and like very talented like musician. Mm -hmm. I would say my favorite song from him is the one about Pluto. Hot shit. <laughs> I don't know that I've seen that one. Or heard mm -hmm. it, but I'll play it for you after the episode. Oh. I like this. This game's always fun. Like just because it's just we just go. Yeah. <laughs> There's not much to discuss within the game. It's just, I'm shooting alien dudes, I'm blowing shit up. And you're getting shacked. And I'm getting shacked. That's uh, Shaquille. Mm -hmm. I'm sure. Yeah, shacked is a... Uh, getting shack food over here. Yeah. You don't want to get shack food. He was in a fighting game. I was going to say, he doesn't need any more food. He's big enough. Mm. We were talking about the uh, cyberpunk earlier. I came around very heavily on that game because at first, the first like when that game was announced, I did not give a shit. You're like, fuck this. Well, I just like the thing of it is too with that game is weird. Like they, um, I always thought it was like a pre-existing series, which it is, mm -hmm. but it's like a board game series or whatever, like a tabletop game. I didn't know that. I mm -hmm. thought it was like a pre-established like, I don't know, like game that had already like been made or like you know, I thought it was like a sequel or like. 
you know, reboot of something. No, it's Dungeons and Dragons, no, baby. No, but it's basically, yeah, like a tabletop game, and I didn't realize that. But, like, I, I never really was into cyberpunk shit, like, at all. I just think, like, the aesthetic is kind of dumb and, like, whatever. But, like, they really did a good job with that game. I for, would say that is, like, the, the quintessential. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, totally. It's a little brighter than... Yeah, it's the, like, I wonder if they did that to kind of make it a little bit more, like, you know palatable for like a modern audience type of thing yeah like it's not like uh it would be the for me it would be the early days of cyberpunk right is what cyberpunk is it's not like yeah it's not like a blade runner type yeah of which thing. is yeah. like Where the, mid to late stage yeah. of cyberpunk and that's even like more noir-esque in yes. a way than it is like i feel the, that's kind of the thing like the more you get into the cyberpunk the more noir it becomes <clears throat> yeah right yeah mm-hmm. I never actually sat through Blade Runner, but I watched a little bit of it, and like that's kind of the impression I got is that it's very noir. It's a type. very, it's a very good movie. It's just very slow. Yes, it is. But that, and I think that was kind of like the off-putting thing for me initially. But like I watched a little bit. I've never sat through the whole thing. Though. And then they got the the newer one came out a little bit ago. What was it? Twenty forty nine or something? Twenty. Twenty. <laughs> what? Well, yeah, whichever one. I know they made like yeah. a sequel or whatever. <coughs> I can't remember. Yeah. But like, um, yeah, Cyberpunk 2077. Like, I did not give a, a rat's ass about it initially. I just did not give a fuck. I just like thought to myself, like, I'm not interested in that world. I'm not interested in, you know, what they're like kind of marketing it as. Mm-hmm. And then <clears throat> when it launched, it kind of reaffirmed that for me, just because it was, it was know, so buggy. It was such a buggy, horrible mess of a launch. Yeah. But like, after they had time to like do the patching and like kind of add some stuff. I bought it on on Steam sale and fucking loved it. Super fucking good game. And not even like I don't even think that the gameplay is really like that special. Like it's good, like it's solid, but it doesn't really like reinvent the wheel in any way as far as I'm concerned. Mm-hmm. Um, it kind of takes a little bit from like a Watch Dogs type of thing where you're like hacking shit and whatever. Yeah, That's kind of what it reminds me. Or like a or like a what's it called? Deus Ex kind of. Yeah. <clears throat> it's kind of got that yeah, vibe. Dude sex. Dude, sex, yeah, and then, no, but like, but just I like we discussed <clears> earlier. <throat> the fucking writing is just really good. <laughs> like, yes, like just that's where the, they really like, like. That's where they did a really, really good job. Where like the side content is like arguably way more compelling than the main story or anything. <laughs> See, that's how I felt with The Witcher, also. Yeah, like the side content was more compelling than the main story, but the main story, at least in The Witcher, was still compelling. Yeah, I haven't played that game in a little bit, but I did. Uh, <laughs> I put in another like. <clears throat> 50, 60 hours on my Steam file. Oh, shit. So I my, played a good chunk of my it. My butt plug fell out. I know the first time we, <laughs> we played it on the show a long time ago, and I'm like, I don't like this game. Um, And I went back and played more of it. I'm like, it's okay. It's pretty good. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. My... Yeah, like, we might actually have to need like start a timer for these, because I can't see the screen. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> my butt plug exploded from the... Fucking laser. How is this gonna go back in my asshole? My furry little asshole. The fixer. Why isn't why isn't Clank a- answering any of the questions of why her butt plug? You know what sucks? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just yeah, the whole butt, bl- yep. whole butt plug thing. You know what sucks is that <clears throat> I think they had the insomniac leak a little while ago. And uh, they're working on a fucking Wolverine game or some shit. I didn't look at the leaks. I don't care. Yeah. Um, but also, as far when it, when stuff leaks, you probably shouldn't watch it anyway. Yes. But they think they said they were doing a like in the leaks they confirmed they're doing a Wolverine game, and I'm like, <sighs> yeah. I I really don't care about superheroes. It's funny how like for me, <clears throat> like. You know, having been an Insomniac fan for a long time, like, how much they've changed in that respect. Mm-hmm. They, like, to me, this is, like, the only, like, modern game <clears throat> series that they've made that I still enjoy. Yeah. Like, pretty much since, I would say, arguably since PS3 onward, they have not made, like, a good series. Or one that I actually really care about, I should say. Yeah, it's really just been Ratchet and Clank kind of holding down the fort. <clears throat> Ratchet and Clank. <clears throat> and then they did the Resistance games on the PlayStation 3 era. Which, Which I know, were, I think you liked them. I, I liked the first one. <gasps> Resistance 2 was okay. Ugh, fuck, Jesus. I uh, <clears throat> I never, I don't think I ever really played it because outside of like a demo. I didn't really, I didn't really care for it. I'm like, whatever, it's fine. <laughs> and then what, they did the Spider-Mans. 
which I don't care about. What the fuck else did they do? That Sunset Overdrive that nobody cared about? Oh, yeah. <laughs> nobody gave a shit about that game. Um, I forgot about Sunset Overdrive. Yeah, so did everybody it else. Tried to be, it tried to be like a... Uh, it was originally, I think, slated to be somewhat like a, a Dead Island kind of game. Yeah, yeah. And then it changed over into like a Battle Royale game. Like, over halfway through the development... I don't know. Oh, we get to play as a uh, rivet still. Cool. Rivet. Yeah, I think that's. No, that one. They, that one was like. Uh, I don't know what to compare it to, but it was like a third-person like shooter game. Oh yeah, okay. That's the one where it's like you can kind of fly around ish, I but think it's so. not flying. Yeah, it's kind of uh, like you're that. like skating. Yeah, you're like a punk dude or something. Yeah, so it's <clears> kind of <throat> like that one tagging game that people liked on the PS2. Whatever the fuck that thing was called. Oh, uh, Jet Set Radio? Yeah. It's like Jet Set Radio mixed with, Jet like, Overwatch. On, Jet Set Radio was on Xbox. Was it on Xbox? Yeah. I don't care. Yeah, I never Jet Set played. Radio, yeah, well, Jet Set Radio Future was on Xbox. So I saw that, and I'm like, I don't give a shit about this game. It ain't my style. Yeah. Too Tony Hawk. <laughs> Too Tony Hawk. I hate Tony. I'm actually, you know what? I bought I bought that session skateboarding simulator game for PlayStation Five. Mm -hmm. I actually really fucking like it. <laughs> it's pretty fun. Like it is very simulatory, but that's kind of what makes it cool. Is because you can do like you can do certain tricks in like certain settings that you wouldn't be able to do in like any other skating game, which kind of makes it fun. But it's not it's not something you would enjoy. I know that. But it's pretty cool. The fuck? Mm. Oh. I'm gonna have to mm. stop and get a bag of those on the way home. Mm, no, no, so good. good. Really good. Mm. Oh, shit. Oh, I forgot I have this wheel. Oh, yeah. Mmm. So we're going to the fixer. He's going to help us fix the Blizzar. The butt plug. The Blizzar butt plug. Yeah, there we go. Mm -hmm. uh, as they like to call it in the game, the blood plug. <laughs> <laughs> the funny thing is, is I fucked up my own joke, but it's still funny. <laughs> you know what I was going to say? It, it brought up. It was a very, like, Justin Roiland-esque uh, joke. He's been canceled. Can't, can't reference him. I can because he was acquitted. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, they don't talk about that part. <laughs> yeah, they don't talk about that part because it, it wasn't popular. Yep. But he's still out of Rick and Morty, so. I kind of hate that shit, man. Yeah, I mean. But, too. Can, but continue. Go ahead. Um, I don't want to get sidetracked. I don't want to distract from your, what you're going to say. What I was basically going to say is that, you know, basically all he ever does. In that kind of thing, is he just changes like one word around, and he's like, "Yep, that's comedy." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Instead of a, a flumbus, it's a it's a plumbus. Instead of a plumbus, it's a flumbus. You know. Like that. <coughs> that sounds like all my animals on Stardew Valley. Flumbus. I just call them chicken, cow, crispy bacon. My uh, Melissa's kid on the game. One of her children is named Fupa. Because that's one of the random names that comes up. It's actually quite like quite impressive. Um, the developer for uh, for that game has continued to make make updates while still developing other games. Yeah, yeah, he's he's working on that one. Um, what's Chocolate his name? Something Ape. Concerned Ape. Concerned Ape. Yeah, he's been making that while doing the Haunted Chocolatier all yep. at the same time. Yep. Yeah. You know, I'm looking forward to the Haunted Chocolatier because I really like Star Do. Yeah, I'm interested um, to see what he comes up with for that game. Yeah, me too. I think a lot of people <clears throat> actively want like a sequel to Stardew Valley, but oh, I don't, yeah, I, don't do. I don't think he's gonna do it. No, he isn't. Not yeah, from any time they've ever asked. He always says maybe, you know, he leaves it open, but he has no plans on doing anything in the Yeah, but he's still been future. he's still been updating it, so like that's almost like Yeah. 
there's like like Melissa like she's been kind of getting back into playing it like every once in a while now and like there's this whole other island I guess in the game yeah the uh, Ginger Island Ginger Island I didn't even I've never played it so like she's like gone through a whole bunch of shit in the game that I even I've not experienced yeah that's that's getting closer to the end game stuff yeah. that's where you can meet Key yeah. do his challenges and stuff yeah like I haven't get some new shit yeah and I haven't done any of that yet so I started up another file um to try and get to that point but I just haven't uh, haven't been playing it as actively. Yeah, most people will play the game. Will play the game and then get up to the point where they are like going into the skull caverns, and they're like, "Oh, this must be the end of the game because I've gone into a new area." Blah blah blah. Yeah. But no, no, there's a whole another. Yeah, there's a whole other area. Yeah, I still haven't even gotten to it. The skull caverns a bitch. Yes, they are. I fucking hate this skull cavern. I, I put a mod on that adds elevators into the Skull Cavern. Oh, that's a good idea, because that's, like, that's what kills it, really. Yeah. It's either that, or you make a whole bunch of jade, and you wait until it's Wednesday, and then you can go to the the tavern person, trade a bunch of jade for um, a get, shit ton of stairs. I was going to say, yeah, can't you get ladders or whatever? Yeah. yeah. And then you just fucking you just <clears throat> plop them down. Until and then just keep going. <laughs> How many, levels, like, how many levels are in this? It's game? endless. Oh, it's endless. Yeah, it's endless. So you're just supposed to reach a certain level to get that one mission done for Mr. Key or whatever? Yeah. Okay. And then you can go farther and things will get tougher and you will get better stuff. Why the fuck do you keep going in here? I want to buy shit from you and you won't let... No, I'm screwed. I don't know what's going on. We gotta fix the fixer. <coughs> you gonna fix me the fixer. Uh, how long have we been going on? Oh, shit. Oh, that's good. Next time a chin stretch hat, we'll keep going.